Well, can you believe it? It's two weeks gone and we've got another talking technical show. And um, hmm, interesting, it looks like the S&P 500 is showing some bit of weakness. But immediately when there's weakness, I mean, all the boys are just so glad to be back and to push it up. So I don't know when we're going to get the proper reversal candle. I think we've seen now 49 record highs in this year, just from the S&P 500. So extraordinary, beautiful rally. I mean, nothing is absolutely bothering that index. It just goes higher and higher and higher. But um, I mean, I'm flooded with um, some nice requests and I'm going to kick off straight away. And um, it's nice that people also send it on WhatsApp for me and even on Twitter. They use all the different social platforms. Somebody asked me the other day, do I like to join Telegram? And I just said, please, I don't need an extra uh, platform to look at. I'm quite happy with the one that I've got. So um, um, I've got the few, so that's more than enough. But let's have a look at Aspen. And um, Aspen, this guy wants to short Aspen, I think he said so. And if I look at this chart, I mean, this is a daily candlestick chart. And um, what's always nice if you look at, and I think it was Chris that dropped me the, the Twitter or the, the um, email. Um, he said, listen, I would like to short it. Now, that's why I'm looking at the daily chart. Because if you, the moment you start using the word shorting, then you start talking about a, a short term trade. So what do we see here? There's a tweezer top. What is a tweezer top? share goes up to about 188 it loses momentum same thing it tries to go up there and again it falls down and if you look at this beautiful uptrend i mean solid uptrend so what do we see here i just want to use this little line here just to show you here um there you are it's the tweezer top and where will be the first sign of weakness first sign of weakness will be the low of that shadow and that will be below 184 and so of course if you want to short aspen and you think that um, the share wants to pull back a little bit yes you can short it below 184 and um, i think to use the stop loss rather use the top of that candle the high is there 188.23 and where can the share go to and immediately my eye sees that there's a tiny little gap here can you see this gap that gap is between 175.70 and 175.18. Yes, so it can easily go there. That's a nice target. So yes, if the momentum goes down, I'll give you all the targets. That one target will be 181.92, um, 178.90, um, 176.65, and then that gap. That will be the easy target. But as we all know that this uptrend is nice, solidly in place. Um, if this trend line breaks and it turns into a resistance, I just want to draw it in there. There you are. If it breaks and it turns into a resistance and it gets below this line of 176.70, then you can easily see some more downside because what it will tell you then, the uptrend has been broken. Let's have a look at Capitec. Abraham asked about Capitec, and this is one of my favorite shares that I'm watching nowadays because, you know, the market has the ability to pick a share. Um, sometimes it's NASPER, sometimes it's process, sometimes it's whatever share you think of. And then that is the share for all the momentum traders. Let's just take you a little bit back before I, I show you the, the daily chart. Now, um, Capitec is one of those companies now, I mean, they do good business, they print well and they put in good money, they're making good profits for the company and for the shareholders. Look what is this chart. All the way, and I mean, I'm taking it back now. Can you believe it? It was below 100. And now I've got a friend that said to me, listen, Franz, he, he thought he was a whiskey when he sold <laughs> Capitec at 24 Rand. He thought, wow, it was a beautiful rally. And he sold it. And now the share is and what, what, 1,822 rand, so, <laughs> yes, uh, well, uh, you can never go broke by taking a profit, but I mean, you could have hang on to the share and could make a lot of money. First of all, what do we see on a weekly chart? We certainly see this inverse head and shoulder, and um, um, I just want to point it out. Now, can you believe it that this company, if this inverse head and shoulder plays out, where it can go to well above 2,000 rand, if I, if I just... That projection for you, you can easily see if I just point that one up and I'm just 
going to put another one in there and then you will immediately see this share can easily go much higher well it can actually go sorry to 2200 is the projection plays out of this inverse head and shoulders so that's very bullish let's have a look at the short term first of all what do you see a beautiful rally it's on a brand new eye there you are this is a daily chart and so that tells you that the momentum is clearly clearly to the top to show you that there you are you are clearly to the top so it will probably go and stop at 2000 rand for me personally Abraham there's no reversal candle here unless you want to chase the upward momentum yes you can do so if you want to buy it then I will use this uh, support line as a high of 170 1737.49 as my stop loss this guy can easily go to 2000 rand um, because the momentum is wonderfully behind it only thing I would like to say that the price to earnings ratio is 45.9. So it's, it's, it's pricey, it's very pricey. I mean, the shares showed us before, it can just take a small breather and it can go high. And what I pick up immediately here, and this is a, just a, a simple thing that the market shows us nowadays. The moment I love a share, every time that there's a pullback, you see this lower shadow. Look at that. Lower shadow, lower shadow, lower shadow, lower shadow. So what it tells you is every time that there's a little bit of a pullback, there's some buyers coming in to buy it. So yes, Abraham, momentum up, probably 2,000, even 2 if you see that inverse head and shoulder plays out to the top. Let's have a look at new gold. Who asked about new gold? Peter asked about new gold. <clears throat> and he said that he, he's not keen on um, buying the Kruger Rand. He likes to buy new gold. Um, new gold is, is the same instrument um, you haven't got the risk to store it and that's why you prefer new gold to maybe a Kruger I didn't mention about gold shares because gold shares has the tendency if they run they can really run fast now well, let's have a look here there's new gold I mean everybody's writing gold off but if I look at this it looks like it's building a massive base and Cristel is always uh, keen to say that you look at the and handle formation for me personally what I see here I see a low and that low is at 2200 rand and there was another low at 23680 and then the other day 23906 and what do you see here in the last couple of days and this is a daily chart of, of, of course from 23800 to 25040 almost in one go and look what happened it closed that gap Unfortunately, there is a gap. Oh, there is another gap there. Um, I must maybe just mention it for you to write down. It is between 24780 to 24,780. That one is 24,751. That other gap is between 24,250 and that one 24,231. Big thing now. If this chart can break above this line, that's the big one. And there's the top, the recent top here. Now, if it can break above this high here of 20, 25,387, it can easily put in a beautiful rally and it will purely be on, on momentum. And it's early days if you look at this chart, because the previous high sometime back in the future was 27,500 rand. So if it breaks there, it can easily go and it can find some new momentum to the top and even go to that little high there at 26,731. So for me, um, Peter, I think new gold is a buy. Unfortunately, you may be a little bit late to climb in. As a friend of mine always say, I would rather cl uh, climb l later in than I've got my pain right. So that's maybe good. For me, this up end will be established above this line. So if you do buy it, what worries me is, is all these windows. Maybe it can pull back to close those windows. But if you do buy it, buy it above uh, 253.87. Make use of a stop loss. I'm going to use that gap as my stop loss. And that will be 251.02. While that is up, it can maybe rally a little bit higher. And, oh well, maybe back to that old level where we just looked at it there. You are close to that 227,000 rand level. Well, let's have a look at BHP Bulletin. When the guys talk about the BHP bulletin, they want to go into a, a merger and maybe uh, then, then delist or, or unbundle their, um, their petroleum assets. I, I mean, 
mentioned the share long time ago. I, I think you guys can maybe remember it. There was a share many years ago of the name of Lonman. And I can remember right at the top of the bull market then, of the commodity bull market, a company came out and it offered it a fantastic offer offer to buy out the company or to merge with it and what happened Lonman just said no guys we don't going to buy it now what happened today what happened Billiton went up almost 10 percent from the top it lost momentum and now you see a shaven bottom candle and that's usually not a good sign while this gap is on it tells you that there's rumors that that merger will probably take place now Alvin, if you look at it, I would like to see this gap remain open for upward momentum because the rule of gaps always say it can easily go a little bit higher if this gap opens. So while this gap is open between 486.99 and 475.35, the momentum to the top can be in place. So I think if you want to buy on that rumor, well, well probably it will, it will go through or it will materialize. To chase it now after this massive rally, look at this rally, from 300 Rand to 520 Rand in a matter of a year is a massive rally. I would rather wait for it to, to consolidate and maybe close this gap and maybe pull back all the way down to this little support here. Maybe just show you the support of around 422 Rand and then buy it. To chase a share after such an announcement, if you are not sure that it's going to pay out, I'm not that keen onto that, but I mean, maybe I'm wrong. You can maybe have a wonderful merger. But in the meantime, I don't like the shaven bottom because the shaven bottom candle tell you that the guy sold it right till the end of the session. Um, so they bought it on optimism earlier and then they took profit. So it's almost buy the rumor, sell the fact, and off you go. Well, watching the show, thank you for doing that. And visit our website, www.franceclair.com. Until next time.